Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's talk about updating all of the apps that were installed when you use Build-A-Pi to get your Raspberry Pi up and running. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we jump to the content, I've got to give a shout out to these three gentlemen. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. Patrons enjoy exclusive behind the scenes content, early access to many YouTube videos, and priority email support. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So ever since I released build a -Pi, I've had operators emailing me asking how do they update the apps after the build, or do they need to rebuild the entire system? Well, updating all of the applications is not as straightforward as maybe typing sudo apt-get update and upgrade uh, because many of the applications on the build a -Pi script are built from source. And because of that fact, we have to rebuild those from source anytime we want to update. So I sat down and wrote a script that will update many of the applications that were installed using build a -Pi. Let's take a look at how that works. First, let's head over to my GitHub site. So we'll use github.com forward slash km4ack. Once we're on the GitHub site, let's click the Pi build. Let's scroll down and we're going to click update hyphen BAP or update hyphen build a -Pi. After we click into that, let's click the raw button. And then let's go right up to the very top and let's go ahead and copy the link to this web page. Now let's head back over to the Pi. Let's move to our downloads directory. And let's use the wget command and then paste in that link that we copied from GitHub. All right, I'm just going to clear that screen and run the ls command to list out that directory. And you'll see that we do indeed have that file downloaded. We're going to simply run it with bash space update hyphen BAP. So this screen here just gives you a little bit of information. It also gives you a warning that uh, if you have several applications that need to be updated, the entire process can take over an hour because we have to compile several of the applications from source. When you're ready, go ahead and press any key to continue. Now, the next thing it's going to ask you is, would you like to update JS8 call? And just after this, it's going to ask you about WSJTX. Now, let me give you a quick explanation of why it's asking this. Most of the applications uh, that we're looking at, the script will check what's on your system and what's available uh, at the developer's website, compare the two, and tell you if you need to update or not. Unfortunately, for JS8 call and WSJTX, there's no way to check from the command line if you have the latest version. So you have to tell the script, yes, you want to update JS8 call or no, and the same for WSJTX. Even if you have the latest version, uh, and, and you go ahead and choose to update, it's not going to harm anything. So if you're uncertain, you can always choose yes here. For this uh, video, I'm going to choose no for both of these. So no for JS8 call and no for WSJTX. Next, the script is going to tell you that you need to run the update and the upgrade command before proceeding. If you have already run those two commands today, then you can go ahead and choose no here. If you haven't and you choose yes, the script will do that for you. Since I've already ran those commands, I'm just going to tell it no. And the script will go through and start checking each of the installed applications. Now, I don't have every single thing installed on this test box, but I do have many of the applications. So right now, it's looking at the current version that we have on our Raspberry Pi, and it's comparing that to the versions that are online at the developer's website. And then in a second, it's going to give us a report and give us some information. Okay, so here's what the report looks like. 
Now, uh, on this system, because I just built it, it's telling me that everything is currently up to date. If something wasn't up to date, it would give you the option of updating that right now. But you'll see here that it will either tell you that it's already the latest uh, version. It'll tell you uh, if there are updates available, it'll, it'll let you know that. And if there's some things that are not installed, it will tell you that as well. Now, this is kind of a all or none proposition. So once it asks you, do you want to update, you have to update everything. Uh, we don't get to pick and choose here. If you didn't install something with your original bill, for instance, uh, in this case, I don't have Chirp installed. So even if I had other things that were available for update, it would not install Chirp because I didn't choose that in the original build. Since it's kind of an all or one uh, proposition here, I didn't want to force operators to install something that wasn't already installed on their Pi. So if you didn't install it uh, originally, it's not going to install it here. Now, speaking of Chirp, I want to show you guys one other thing here. Let me minimize this screen. I apologize that this is a little blurry, but if you do have Chirp installed, you are liable to see this warning right here about the Python future package uh, is not available. It's not a big deal. I couldn't figure out how to suppress this warning. Chirp doesn't install this futures package, uh, but even though we see this warning, it will still uh, go ahead and update everything without any trouble. So don't worry about the warning. Uh, it, it's not something to be concerned with. If you have Chirp installed and it needs an update, it will update when you tell the script that you are ready to. So there you have it, guys. There's the easy way to go ahead and get all of the applications on your build a -Pie up to date with the latest versions that are available from each developer. Now, there are a few apps that are not uh, checked we will be working to add those going forward. But this will allow us to update all of the main programs on our Pies for right now. All right, we will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.